Education and news media, the good guys of dualism. The good guys of dualism, education, the conveyor belt of culture, and its new media loop updater are the unhingers of hell on earth that we're presently going through. Let me ask you, is your very own kid going to be next shooting others? Or your own family next being shot at? It's mentally sick education and news media that's unhinging our exited student youth into committing abominations in our midst. This needs to stop, and I'm bent on doing it as soon as possible, but only with your help can it happen. Please give it some thought, join in, donate, volunteer, and let's kick some bare ass together. The problem isn't with culture, that's just human nature. It's with its interpretation as education and its ancillary loop of news media. Let me try to explain it with fruit toys. The problem isn't human nature, it's civilization. What comes out the other end after education and the news media are done with it as baby wash. The conveyor belt of education is actually the inner loop of culture, the news media the outer one. Conveyor 80 and loopy news are civilization. Why am I calling them the good guys of dualism? Because they lobby for dualism as duocracy of our broken, corrupt, and misguided red and blue political conspiracy. That's all it is. In culture, due to homeostasis, nothing changes unless everything else does, which usually doesn't happen, so things remain the same. Though the appearance is a permanent change, the reality is no substantive change whatsoever. This is precisely what defines historical periods. Case in point, ours. Dualism is the character of modernity. Its personality is the mirage of change. And there's no getting around it, till it's suddenly overcome and the page of history is turned. Meanwhile, different faces, same discourse, different topics, same theme. This has been going on since there's no one around to remember. People just get older and pass away, and the newcomers don't know any better. Dualism is the explanation that the makeup of things is out of opposites, as if a whole orange, is orange were made out of two half oranges. The problem isn't at the level of oranges, but rather at the explanation of how it is made up. How we explain things is how we put them together afterwards. We rebuilt and we perceive that things were built in the first place, hence explanation. We're doing a poor job of explaining things, so our social edifice of things is broken from the very cornerstone start. It is subtle. Collective oversight simply missed the hinge pin of social sanity. The problem is that we place the care of our children in our most cherished institutions, education, and secondarily as adults on the news media to keep us updated. The conveyor belt of education and its new media loop is the baton of culture in the race of civilization. Both are ultimately praise or blameworthy for the state of things in the world. We may not know how things started nor how they will end. All we have to go by is what Conveyor Eddy and Loopy News tell us, and what tragic unhinging effect is having on our exit to student youth moving forward. But let's give my argument a human face from my personal narrative. As retired high school science teacher to at-risk students at alternative campuses of Austin ISD, I don't need a Senate seat any more than the Nobel Peace Prize, the NPP. Yet, by the look of recent events, the world does need my collaboration. Fortunately, the education turn was finally taken in the previous video of the Paradise Manifesto, establishing the connection between the shootings and education and unhinging the minds of our exited student youth in committing atrocities against humanity. Furthermore, this is done by our ex-students outright, with no compass, no remorse whatsoever, rather an observing a moral imperative of sorts. What galvanized all these things going on into focus and ignition in me was without a doubt the El Paso, Texas shootings across from Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico of Hispanics and Mexicans by Mr. PC, a recently exit student of 21 years of age from 10 hour drive Big D. This event has much to do with the fact that I'm Hispanic and Mexican myself, originally from the border towns down the Rio Bravo of Ciudad de Cuña, Coahuila, Mexico, as well as down the same Rio Grande River of Del Rio, Texas. Suddenly, a resonance phenomenon came about with current events in my person. Holding education accountable is too abstract. It needs to refer to things and persons, like admins and teachers, both accomplices of unhinging youth, 
all the while the former squarely stashing away and the latter struggling like a dog. As targeted Hispanic and teacher of our liable schooling system, I can certainly say it. The drop that spilled the glass. Before, it was just a family concern having their kids playing too much war games and video machines. Now, it's a social problem when these now exited and empowered student youth take real guns and actually go out to the public place and playing good guy kill innocent people in the roles of bad guy alien invaders. Shootings, autism, and others are outward signs of the shortcomings of education. From my own personal experience as physics student, both undergraduate at UT Austin and later on as graduate student at Imperial College London, I can testify to this. I dropped out for the doctoral mathematical physics program devoid of philosophy, having thought it was theoretical physics, inclusive. Of course, if I had been more prudent, I would have continued and made up the failings on my own, just as I did later on when teaching science at the National Polytechnic in Mexico City by studying philosophy after work at the National Autonomous University. The trend nowadays is that numbers are taking over letters all across the board. And it doesn't have to be this way. There's room for both if you know how to fit them squarely. This is where my contribution comes to the fore. A humanist, all the while scientific education, a holistic paradise formation for our youth well into adulthood. We, as core educators in school or peripheral news updaters later on, need to take ownership of our lead role in unhinging exited student youth and adults in the shootings and more generally in feeding the crisis of civilization itself and perhaps also in other existential, mental, and emotional ailments of present times. I would go as far and say that cancer is but the somatization of the woe of modernity of dualism long term, a death born not out of despair, but rather of placing enlightening hope on conveyor education and on loopy media. I have the calling of service to formulate, the message of paradise to disseminate, and the mission of re-civilization in America to realize. For the greatest benefit to humanity, the paradise re-civilization principle. Entale la bola, no seas canica, let's roll, don't marvel. U.S. Senate, Texas C, 2020, and the Nobel Peace Prize as soon as possible. In the nutshell, going forward, it's either paradise promised world or else inferno on earth. Use Trolley Rick and GD Bless.